Hey guys, Kenny with Ugly Tent. Rick and I are out again today. Uh, the Bushcraft Camp, his little getaway. We're hanging out, gonna fix some food, but, but we wanted to try something else I'd seen. Uh, this one was on Pinterest. And it's probably been on, uh, this probably, picture is probably from YouTube or something, but I saw it on Pinterest. So as seen on Pinterest. Uh, it's a grill, two grills stacked on top with a fire underneath and boil your water on top, whatever. So stick with me as we try that out. All right, so we're going to use these, or this stump here. It's already, um, it's a dead, standing dead. It's been cut, so we don't kill a live tree. We'll cut two notches in it, stick our grills, and see what we get. This is hardwood, so it should hold it pretty well. Oh yeah, getting there now. Getting there now? Yeah. You want my silky? I might have to. <clears throat> That's hardwood, brother. I wouldn't. Yeah, it's gonna take me forever. A balco would be way better than switching to a silky. I think a balco's thicker. Yeah. That actually okay. should give you a longer, longer pull. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's nice. it. If that's the one that's going to hold your fire, I'd flip it upside down to give it a... Look you there. You knew exactly what you were doing. I've done this one other time. No, Have you really? Not, oh. not this. No, 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 not this, not this. Look at that. That's going to work out nicely. So that's where our fire is going to go. We'll put another one up here for the pot. Oh yeah, this silky makes quick work of it. Then you actually you can wedge it in if you have to. Oh, that's it. It ain't going nowhere. That's awesome. Come a log cabin style fire lay. And I got some smalls to put on top. This is hardwood, this is pine. And I've got some sweet fire right here that we're gonna use. Dropped it, Rick. Let's try again. This sweet fire is no joke. There we go. I'll put a couple wedges in that to help hold it in. Hopefully they don't burn up. You know what? So far, the stuff that we've tried, all of it's worked. Because we're awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Think of the small fire like this. It's just going to burn quick. You have to keep feeding it but this actually works pretty well I mean um, I'm impressed with it I give us another thumbs up of course we haven't boiled the water yet but I mean it's pretty neat especially if your grounds really wet you want to get up off the ground allows the fuel or the oxygen to come up underneath the fire to feed it it's pretty cool all right I'm gonna be totally honest with you Rick cooked some really good food that I want to get back to this is working this is working really well. This water is starting to get hot enough for coffee. Now, if I were wanting to boil water, 
all I'd have to do is continue to add um, fuel to it. You know, it, it does a good job. The tree is starting to catch fire on the side here, but not enough to concern me. Um, it's doing well. So this is a thumbs up. This is a, gosh, not even five minute project that as long as you've got the grills, turned out great. Uh, you could fix a steak on it. You could do all kinds of things with this with this grill setup. And I used a small one here. This is what I had. This is Rick's. But if you had a longer grill, you can make a longer fire, bigger fire, obviously, and create more coals for your steak or whatever. But this works pretty good. I'm impressed. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'm going to go eat, and I'll see you on the next one. Look at the steak and salad, bacon. That bacon salad, that's, that's the best. The onion. Man, <clears throat> it's amazing. Thanks, Rick. Hey, you're welcome, buddy. You can thank the uh, you can thank the corporal for that salad dressing, though. For that salad, that's where I got that idea from. Check it out.